Hello Cruisers, it's me Trent and today I welcome you to cruise along with me. As you can see, I'm pretty hot today. I'm in a sauna. I'm trying to compare myself a little bit for the tropical heat of Hawaii since I'm from the frozen north. I'm not really used to that crazy temperature, but I'll get there. Today I wanted to go through and just kind of explain once you found your cruise role, your cruise job, what to expect from there. Well, first off, usually they're going to send you an offer letter of some sort. You can usually apply right back into their website to accept that. And from there, you can really start getting the ball rolling. After, about, after accepting that, after about one to two weeks, they're going to have someone from the onboarding team reach out. And they're going to send you some general paperwork to fill out and as long as ask for a few things. Some of the things they're gonna ask for are birth certificate or passport. Passport if you're gonna be going international, otherwise you just need your birth certificate. Driver's license, social security card, COVID vaccination card, you don't need to be boosted. They just usually want to know that you have it so everyone and the guest will be safe on the boat. And then as long as that, they're gonna ask for a kind of a crew data sheet, which is gonna have your first name, your last name, your hometown, your address, you know, all the basic information as long as, as well as your airport. The reason they want your airport is they need to know how to get you to and from the ship when they supply those airplane tickets. So that's all pretty basic. And then um, depending on your ship, some of them may have you do the a certain safety training in a certain state. I know they're having me go to Maryland for my training, so that's an additional format to fill out. But depending on the cruise line, they'll actually have you do that on the ship so you don't have to go anywhere else. So that's just one additional kind of step I had to take that you most likely won't need to take unless you're working on a certain cruise line. And then from there, once you complete step one, you can apply for your transportation workers identification credentials. Now that's really easy to get. Some of the appointments can be pretty far out but I just scheduled myself for a walk-in appointment. That way I was able to go in and out. I was there for about two hours. It cost about $150 to receive and keep those receipts because your cruise line will reimburse you usually for that credential. The, the reason you need that credential is because after you get that, you can apply for your merchant marine credential. And what that is is the main safety credential that you need to actually be able to work on a cruise ship at all. No matter what line you're gonna work at, you're gonna need that credential, so that's very important. And now once you have all that paperwork filled out, you have your uh, transportation card applied for, you're 100% good. The next major step in your journey is gonna be that medical exam that I've been explaining about. Now the medical exam will usually be scheduled a few weeks out past this point. I know for me it's scheduled out for three weeks and my next video will actually be going through everything that they're looking for on that exam which I'm very excited to share with you. But that's everything for today. I just wanted to kind of show you what the first major step of your journey is going to look like. And I hope you really did enjoy this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, if you subscribed. And I look forward to you to cruise along with me again soon. Thank you.